Your worldview determines everything you do. This filter through which you interpret life determines what you're like in the morning, how you treat your family, how you look at the world, and how you walk out your time here. It determines how you live your life. Some worldviews clash. We've been cultured to be tolerant, but there are times when your worldview will be in strong opposition to someone else's worldview. Paul in Colossians 2.8 warned us not to be deceived by philosophies that depend on human tradition and the spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. In other words, don't let someone alter your biblical worldview. You need to be confident in your source of truth and you need to be willing to live out that truth. I love how the Message Bible puts verses six and seven of Colossians 2. You received Christ Jesus, the master. Now live him. You're deeply rooted in him. You're well constructed upon him. You know your way around the faith. Now do what you've been taught. School's out. Quit studying the subject and start living it. And let your living spill over into thanksgiving.